Well, Dr. John Pavich, uh, again here in front of the Living Wall, uh, wrapping up our Legends series, and it's a tremendous pleasure to uh, introduce Dr. Scott Dolchowski, who uh, carries many titles uh, at Henry Ford uh, Hospital and Henry Ford Health System. I'll refer to his primary title, and that's as the chairman of the Department of Surgery. Uh, but uh, Scott has also been a significant force in moving things uh, forward, especially within the Innovation Institute. Yeah. So, Scott, I really want to thank you for uh, coming for this, uh, this interview. Uh, let me just ask you, um, what is it about uh, the Innovation Institute that uh, we all should be excited about? Uh, when you hired me, uh, now 15 years ago, I was struck by a couple of things at Henry Ford. One was the focus on the patient, and patient quality was, was jab one. But the other thing was the spirit of innovation. And I know that all, organiza all organizations have some of that, but uh, I thought if we could harness that, that would be a differentiator, something really powerful for us. So what is it that um, you think will be some of the products that the Innovation Institute will be producing here in the next several years? I think the biggest realization that I've had in the last uh, almost decade now of running the Innovation Institute is innovation goes beyond a, a simple medical device or something that is patented, but it's our know-how. It's uh, how we build, design, and run hospitals. I think, I think that's going to be our greatest innovation that started a, a hundred years ago. And I think as we're now starting to realize that in the hospitals that will shortly open in uh, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, that are under construction uh, right now in India, now two, soon to be eight. And as we start to look uh, beyond that, uh, I think one of our greatest contributions to medical care globally is going to be to take that Henry Ford way compartmentalize it and uh, take it across the globe. Let me switch gears and uh, go to the Department of Surgery. Yeah. Uh, obviously the Department of Surgery has had uh, glorious history uh, yeah. here at Henry Ford uh, starting with the second uh, member of uh, the Henry Ford uh, Medical Group sure. and uh, that was uh, Dr. McClure. Um, you have continued to carry out that, uh, that heritage. What are you proud about, uh, about your current Department of Surgery? Well, I'd, I'd like to hope uh, that we continue that. You know, it's really hard to stand on the shoulders of giants as you have and, and I do now. Uh, Roy D. McClure was a, a, a real thinker uh, of, of the time in that the number of innovative uh, patents in surgical care, uh, broad thinker who had our largest meeting, the American College of Surgeons meeting held here at Henry Ford Hospital. I think the, the proudest accomplishment, what I'd like to be remembered for at Henry Ford Hospital in my role as the surgeon is not things that I have uh, done myself, but the people I've been able to hire in that. And I guess it's much like when you look at your children and you see their amazing accomplishments, it makes yours wane in that, but that's a good thing. And, and I'm, I'm just uh, so proud of where, where we've expanded in all of the areas in surgery for the right reasons. Now you uh, also have had uh, really a very long history of working with the space agency sure. or space agencies, I yeah. guess it would be more uh, specific. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, that, uh, that activity. So uh, my classmate in medical school was Jerry Leninger and Jerry uh, was uh, an Air Force Naviator, uh, went on to be a primary care doc and was selected uh, by uh, NASA, flew on shuttle uh, twice and then up to Space Station Mir. And in his training, I used to go down to JSC, the Johnson Space Center, pretty repeatedly. And Jerry told me now two decades ago, hey, we need a working doc, uh, primarily in the emergency field. I was uh, running Detroit Receiving Hospital as a trauma surgeon at the time. Uh, and the, the job was to co-op what we did every day on the streets of Detroit, modify them for use in, at that time in, uh, prior to the space station in the shuttle. And that's subsequently been taken forward now to the International Space Station. So you've done a lot of really, um, I think, Absolutely cool and impressive yeah. uh, things. And, Fun stuff. But you've also done some things that are kind of the hard work of uh, keeping a hospital going and uh, 
yeah. really being participant. And one of those things is uh, was being the chair of the space committee, yeah. and, uh, which uh, is probably not the easiest thing in the world. Yeah. But there are some products of uh, of that that yeah. uh, you also have we're, had. We're your sitting in one of them. We're sitting in one of them, as yeah. well as the surgical lounge yeah. and a lot of the other yeah. uh, elements are there. When, Tell us a little bit about this space. Yeah. So we are uh, sitting in now the enclosed and highly utilized uh, atria. At any given uh, minute of the day or night, there will be people in here. It's nice for functions as well. This used to be an all-weather area. And so my job uh, as the chair of the space committee was to make everybody equally unhappy in that and to be equitable uh, with that. However, uh, I think in working with uh, you and uh, many others to take the hundreds of thousands of projects that are worthy and to try and figure out which ones of these can we do, can we pay for, and that would really improve the lives, not just of a few, but, but of many. This is one of them. I really want to thank you uh, for uh, the community here. I want to thank you for being the last of the legend uh, right. Uh, the most legendary, here. perhaps. The most, uh, well, perhaps uh, that, uh, <laughs> that may be. We have many legends, uh, uh, yes. but uh, but one which is uh, as deserved as any anyone that we've uh, interviewed. So thank you very much. For My honor, John. My you, honor. You'll be well. missed.